안녕하십니까? 여기는 Porto입니다. Today we are going to talk about WebAssembly. What is WebAssembly? Will WebAssembly replace JavaScript? And should you learn WebAssembly? WebAssembly is a compilation target. Something that the machine compiles to. And now it sounds weird, so let me give you some examples. When you have a Flutter application, for example, you can compile that application into Android or iOS. When you have a Unity game, you can compile that to PlayStation, to Xbox, to Mac, to iOS, to Windows, to website. That's a compilation target. WebAssembly or WASM, W-A-S-M, WASM is just another compilation target, but this time the browsers can understand it. So if you open a WebAssembly file, it's gonna be a binary file. This is why you don't learn WebAssembly, you don't read WebAssembly, and you don't write WebAssembly. You compile to WebAssembly. Who compiles to WebAssembly? C, C++, Rust, and Go. On the future, there will be more languages that can compile to WebAssembly. And this is an amazing, amazing thing because that means that you can write beautiful Go code or really fast Rust code. And then with just the compilation target WebAssembly, enter, you will compile a binary file that will be able to be opened on the browser. And that opens up the possibilities for the web in a really, really big way. So right now, for example, if I want to do some video editing or if I want to do some image editing, I need to download Photoshop or Premiere Pro or 3ds Max or whatever. Doing something like Photoshop or Premiere Pro on JavaScript will be incredibly hard and it'll be incredibly slow because JavaScript sucks at that. Now WebAssembly allows us in the future to be able to run a working Photoshop on our browser. We won't be able to even have the software in our computer because the browser will be able to execute that C, C++ binary file. It opens up the opportunities immensely, immensely. For example, we wouldn't have to download a game and install a game. We will be able to play that game in our browser because now our browser can run C, C++, or Rust, which are really, really fast. And that is an amazing set of opportunities for people that are not programming in JavaScript because that means that now the web is going to be super, super fast. Wow. Unity 3D and Unreal Engine, they're already compiling to WebAssembly because WebAssembly is now supported by all the major browsers. That means that now if you make a Unity 3D game, when you compile it to website, it's going to be a binary file that your website will understand. And that's why there are many demos online that show you the power of WebAssembly on your Chrome or on your Firefox. You can run amazing 3D simulations and animations without feeling like you are in the browser and without needing JavaScript whatsoever. Will WebAssembly replace JavaScript? My answer for this is no, at least in the next 10 to 20 years. The reason why is because WebAssembly wasn't done to replace JavaScript. WebAssembly was created to do the things that JavaScript is not good at. For example, if you want to make your website very interactive with, uh, I don't know, effects and drag and drop and click and all that stuff, you don't need WebAssembly. You just need React or even JavaScript. JavaScript is very good at manipulating the website and at making it interactive. But JavaScript is not good, for example, for image processing or really real-time fast calculations. In this case, it would be better if you used WebAssembly. But they are not one or the other. They can be on the same place. And for example, you can create a very fast WebAssembly function and then call it on JavaScript when the user clicks a button. That is the power of WebAssembly. It's not one or the other, it's both at the same time, and it's amazing. Because JavaScript is a great programming language, but it sucks at some things. Now, WebAssembly is here to do the things that JavaScript sucks at. So, this is why you don't learn WebAssembly. WebAssembly is not something you read, it's not something you write. WebAssembly, I don't think personally, is going to replace JavaScript in the next couple of decades. And the third thing is, it's just a huge, 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 huge game changer. And that's it. Don't forget to be happy, to eat kimchi, and enjoy the heat of soul. Bye-bye.